or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be taking you along and just showing you what I eat in a day. I do want to make the disclaimer that I am not a certified dietitian or a certified nutritionist. These are just meals and foods that really help me feel really good and that are helping me get to the health and fitness goals that I am trying to hit. So as far as my health and fitness goal, it is to just burn fat and build body muscle. I want to feel really strong. I want to be lean and I basically basically want to be a weapon, okay? That is the goal and that's what we're going for. I'm actually doing the 12 week year, which I will put the video where I talked about how I set all of that up right up here. But basically every single day I make sure I count my calories. I'm drinking at least four bottles of water, which is equivalent to eight cups of water because these are 16 ounces each. <laughs> and also that I'm doing a 30 minute workout in the morning and then going for an at least 30 minute walk in the afternoon or some kind of like 30 minute physical activity, whether it's a walk, pickleball, bike ride, whatever, just something that gets me moving. So that's basically an hour of physical activity every single day. And those are basically my pillars for staying healthy and staying to where I feel really good on a daily basis. So basically with my calories, I do count my calories. You totally don't have to. This is just something that helps me get to my fitness goals and my health goals. I try to stay at no more than 2000 calories at least five times a week, five to six times a week. I let myself be a little bit more lenient on the weekends, especially grocery shopping day because we literally have no food. <laughs> at least five to six days a week, I am trying to stay at 2000 calories or less. A really, really great day for me would be like 1800 calories, but sometimes it's just very hard to hit, especially if I'm working out. My hunger is gonna be like up here and sometimes 1800 calories just isn't gonna do it for me. Another thing that I try to do to really help with that is make sure that I'm eating eating high protein meals and high protein snacks. That protein, it keeps me full. It helps my body recover. It helps build my muscles. So overall, if I could describe my diet, I would just say it's a low calorie, high protein diet. That's essentially what I am aiming for every single day, except for my like day or two, I let myself be lenient. Obviously, every single day looks different. Some days I have to grab lunch out. Some days I'm not feeling any of this stuff and I just go get like a sub or Chick-fil-A or something. There are absolutely those days. They totally happen. I'm okay with it. But today we are at home doing some work so I am able to stick to my healthy meal prepped goods that I have here. But first things first is I always make sure to drink lots of water. Like I said, these are each 16 ounces. I got this off of Amazon because I was just not feeling water. So if you get like a cup or a glass or just something that makes you really excited to use Use it it looks cute and makes you feel like you're put together get that because I promise it'll be such a great investment to get you to drink more water and I love to put like lemons and stuff in here as well it is just cute it goes with all of our decor so I don't mind it sitting out I just like using it so I'm just gonna drink more water if I'm using this cup versus if I'm just drinking out of a bottle or something so that's definitely a tip that I have learned to trick myself into drinking more water because sometimes you just don't want water. So like I said, I do count my calories. I have this diet tracking book. So Cooper and I actually share this book. We got it off of Amazon and we completely customized it because I hated the cover. I thought it was the ugliest thing ever. Yeah, so we customized it with our vision board of like our health and fitness goals. These are our dream cars. These are just basically couple photos and fitness photos that align with the goals that we are trying to go for. And obviously there's Sarah and Kurt if you watch Sarah's day. Having it look nice Nice just like the water it makes us want to use it it makes us want to write in it so we did that and we took like clear packaging tape and laminated the cover so it protects it and then on the back we put a really beautiful beach picture and I just created these in Canva and ordered them to get printed from I think Walgreens they were less than a dollar each the book is about $20, I think, but it lasts for a really long time. So here you have your breakfast, and the only things that I count are calories, carbs, and protein. Those are the only columns that we ever fill out, but we have what day that it is, like what day of our counting that it is. I'm not gonna lie, we've had our inconsistencies. It really does take discipline to count calories. It is not fun sometimes. So you have breakfast, snacks, lunch, snack, dinner, snack, AKA dessert. <laughs> this is a water tracker and I just like usually draw out my own right here. 
and at the very end of each section you can total up whatever uh, macros you calculated for that so you can just do a quick add up and do your grand totals here and then we usually just write whatever physical activity that we do that day right here so it's a really nifty book I can link it down below if that's something that you're interested in if you want to customize it I would absolutely suggest doing that because anything you can do to make something look better or to put your own touch on it you're more likely to use it and you're more likely to leave it out it's just overall better <laughs> definitely recommend if you are trying to count your macros I don't like apps a whole lot because I like tangible things so this is, this is it for me. I start my morning with coffee and I use the Silk Vanilla Almond Milk Creamer. It's 25 calories per tablespoon and four carbs. I usually say that I use around four times the serving. I like a really good balance between coffee flavor and creamer flavor, so I put a little bit more in there, but I do like 100 calories for my coffee and 16 carbs. Now obviously during this time, this is whenever I'm having some water as well. I try to get at least two cups of water in before I start working out. So working out, I usually will end up drinking another two cups of water or another bottle of water, and this can vary every single day just to Pending. I usually try to do Insanity. Cooper and I both tackle that in the mornings. And this is a Beachbody workout by Sean T. And we do the Insanity Max 30. And it's just a 30 minute full body hit workout. And it is killer. I love it. I feel so good after. I sweat like a pig. And I feel so good whenever I'm consistently doing this workout program. Some days though, if I don't get enough sleep or don't feel good or just don't feel like it that day honestly you're gonna have days where you don't feel like working out and that's fine this is whenever I would go for a walk or substitute this 30 minutes with another physical activity I am very ready to go ahead and make my shake because I'm actually getting kind of hungry so I need to hit my hunger before it gets too crazy <laughs> let's go ahead and let's head to the kitchen make our shake and then after I do this I usually go and get some work done at my desk so let's go ahead and let's get our smoothie blended <laughs> grumbling. I have just been working on my computer for a couple hours now and I slept on my protein shake and it has just worn off at this point and I am just ready for my lunch. What we do for lunch to, to stay high protein is we go to a pretty traditional default which is grilled chicken breast. So it's really cost effective for us and it helps us hit our macros. We just sometimes cook it differently just to keep it fresh. We get packs of chicken breast weekly from Trader Joe's. They're just the most cost effective there. We get four per pack and it lasts us all week we get like two or three packs but we actually cooked a pack yesterday so today we already have it cooked and ready to go whenever we do that I really love to make sure we put it in glass containers and along with this we prep our broccoli and probably something else you may not have ever heard before but forbidden rice also called black rice or purple rice I was scrolling through TikTok and I found this model I don't remember her name she was doing a what I eat in a day video and she eats black rice. I was like, what is this? I've never heard of black rice. So I'll show you the bag of forbidden rice. So it literally is black rice. If you can see that, it focuses on me. There we go. 
So this is the brand that we get. We found this at Publix, but they had a couple other brands. The reason that it's called Forbidden Rice is because long, long ago, it used to be reserved only for the Chinese emperors to ensure like a long and healthy life. It was a big part of traditional Chinese medicine. And the reason that it's black is because it has antioxidants in it and is basically an anti-cancer, anti-aging. It is loaded with antioxidants. It's great for your heart health, your brain health, liver health, basically your entire body <laughs> and it's also an anti-inflammatory it's amazing the amount of benefits that are in these little grains of rice anyway so we have this with broccoli and grilled chicken for lunch every single day and we also weigh our chicken so I'll just google the calories in however many ounces of chicken we have that day I'm very very hungry even just talking about this with you so let's go ahead and let's make our plate for lunch and then probably just take a little bit of a breather and watch a YouTube video or something before we get right back to work. First things first, we need to weigh our chicken. I'm just going to use this lid here and then zero it back out. And then we're going to go for this one. 2.8. Cool. I do microwave it. It's not my favorite, but whatever, gets the job done. So now I'm gonna season the broccoli and the rice. Here are all of my seasonings that I use. <laughs> Listen, you just gotta spice things up sometimes, okay? So here are my coconut aminos I get from Trader Joe's. This is basically just a healthier alternative to soy sauce. And it's only 20 calories per tablespoon and five carbs. And I just put this on my rice like that. I don't even use a full tablespoon. Then I just put some garlic powder, some pink Himalayan salt, and some black ground pepper on there. And I put all of this on my broccoli and my rice. So I will leave the macros for my lunch here on the screen right here, but I honestly really love this lunch. It's very fulfilling. It's full of nutrients between the protein of the chicken and obviously the nutrients of the black rice and the broccoli. It isn't very heavy on my tummy during the day. I know lunch is technically supposed to be the biggest meal of the day, but I don't like to feel heavy and sluggish after I eat lunch. I'm gonna go devour this. Probably watch a YouTube video just to take a mental break from work and then just get right back to it. But I will see you at iced coffee time. I'm so incredibly excited because it's my favorite time of the day and that is iced coffee time. So with iced coffee time, I really like to incorporate a little bit more protein. So I have my iced coffee, but I love to pair it with either boiled eggs if I'm like craving something more savory or crackers or something like that, or a yogurt bowl with some fruit and just something a little bit more light and sweet and refreshing, which is what I'm craving today is something sweet and light and refreshing. So we're gonna be making an iced coffee and also the cats are fighting again. So to go along with our iced coffee, we're gonna be making a yogurt bowl with peaches, blueberries, and granola. It sounds so, so good because it is mighty toasty outside. It's like you walk outside and it's instant sweat. <laughs> it's one of those days. So this is the iced coffee that I am obsessed with. So it's the vanilla sweet cream cold brew and it is so good. It's not too sweet, it's not too bitter and it's only 90 calories, 17 grams of carbs and two grams of protein for 12 ounces. And we're gonna put it in this cute little world market glass. 
that I just love. I usually drink it out of this glass or I drink it out of um, the ones with the bamboo lids that I drink my water out of. But I just fill this bad boy all the way up. This is literally my favorite time of the day. I can't even explain to you how much I look forward to iced coffee time. It's just a time where I can just drink my favorite drink and zone in on my work and not be bothered by anybody, but it's still daylight outside and I just enjoy this time so much. I'm probably gonna take a few minutes to read, honestly. it's I usually do this between like three to five o'clock in the afternoon. So this is like time that I'll make sure I can set aside like 10 minutes to just read my book that I want to read or I edit a YouTube video or I edit a reel or just something chill but productive in some sort of way. Mm, so good. I had to change out of my sweatshirt from earlier because it was so hot outside. Let's go ahead and let's make this yogurt bowl and we're going to go head out to the porch. So this is my favorite Greek yogurt. It is only 90 calories, 7 grams of carbs, and it's 15 grams of protein for this, which the carb to protein ratio is insane. And I just get vanilla so that I can make these yogurt bowls. Sometimes I get strawberry, but usually I get vanilla. And the ingredients aren't bad either. Like it's not full of a bunch of artificial sweeteners. It's sweetened with stevia leaf extract, which is not as bad as some other yogurts. And then we're gonna add a fourth a cup of blueberries. Then we're gonna cut up a peach. I love peaches and vanilla yogurt. So good. Peaches are probably my favorite fruit, I feel like. And then I'm gonna add this Purely Elizabeth granola. This is my favorite granola. It has really great ingredients on it. It's organic, it's non-GMO, gluten-free, vegan, and it's about a third of a cup. So I'm gonna measure that out and top off our yogurt bowl. Like I said, this is one of my favorite ways to boost up my protein intake for the day is just to have a really nice yogurt bowl. And there's just so much nutrients in this. There's grains, there's fruit, there's fiber, there's protein. Here are the macros for the yogurt bowl and the iced coffee. Again, not bad at all as far as calories versus the protein. And it's just a really great afternoon pick-me-up. All the good things. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my iced coffee and head out to the porch to read and do some work for a little bit. Also wanted to mention we hit our water goal already. I am on my fourth one of these and I think I'm going to chug some more because like I told you, it is very hot outside. <laughs> for what is on the menu. We're actually gonna be having a steak and I think we're gonna have a sweet potato and some salad on the side. It's just a very simple dinner, but again, it's hitting all of those nutrients and all of those macros with the protein from the steak and then of course the carbs and everything from the vegetables. The cats are fighting. You have so much to say. Anyways, I really love to have a balance between having like chicken and red meat and just kind of switching things up. We don't have fish too often. I wish we had it more, but we don't. Our main two sources of protein for like dinner are chicken and beef. We're just gonna saute it on the pan on the stove and then I'm just gonna heat the sweet potatoes up in the microwave. My mom did this as I was growing up if we didn't really feel like baking them because baking potatoes can take a while. It takes about an hour or so. And to be truthful, I don't really feel like waiting that long tonight. So we're just going to pop them in the microwave. I try to avoid the microwave where I can, but I mean, honestly, sometimes it's just, 
it is a convenience and it's still not the best for you, but I've had stuff microwaved since I was little, so the damage is probably already done. All I do for microwaving potatoes is I just make slits in them on both sides after washing them, of course, and then putting them in the microwave for six minute intervals. Usually two times does the trick. Sometimes you might have to toss them in there for like an extra three minutes or so. It really just depends on how thick the potato is and how big that it is. We have pretty average sized sweet potatoes, so hopefully the two intervals should do it. But it's a really great way just to, if you're having a later night or you just kind of want a baked potato or just a sweet potato, it's an easier way to make it. I just prefer it sometimes, so that's just what we're gonna do. This is the salad that we're gonna have as our side. I've never tried it before. If you have, let me know what you think. It's the Southwestern chopped salad from Trader Joe's. I love salad kits. I would never be able to make this on my own, so I'm really grateful that <laughs> Trader Joe's has these salad kits. They're pretty inexpensive, and lyrically, they're not bad at all. All of this talk of food is making me very hungry, so let's go ahead and let's start dinner. to that so much. Now it's time for dessert. So we're going to try and make this TikTok recipe. It's a protein brownie cup. So I don't know how this is going to come out. I've never made this before, but I have everything and figured we could give it a shot. I'll put the TikTok up right here. His name is Matthew McNabb. So let's see if Matthew's recipe is living up to the hype. So it's supposed to be like a brownie mug cake kind of thing. So I just got my coffee mug here and I have my phone here with the TikTok recipe. Let's see how this, how this comes out. <laughs> I don't know if this is even the right consistency. He just said a dash of milk. So I don't know if this is too much or not, but we're just gonna toss it in the microwave for a minute and cross our fingers that it comes out good. <laughs> So I cleaned it up and it's still a little soupy, so I'm gonna toss it in for another couple seconds, but definitely not a minute again. 26 seconds left. Hmm. All right. <laughs> it looks so messy. <laughs> Dirty cup. <laughs> okay, that's a little bit better. Oh my. Well, at least it has a brownie consistency. Let's see how it tastes. 
Now that I've made a total mess, let's at least see if it tastes good. It's okay. It's very, it tastes very proteiny, if that makes sense. I think if you had like a healthy vanilla ice cream or even like some chocolate syrup that you could put on here, like just a little bit, I think that that would help. Otherwise, it doesn't, it's not very sweet. It definitely tastes healthy. He did have his own macros for what he made in the ingredients that he used, but I actually had my own ingredients that were a little bit different. So this one came to 305 calories, 15 carbs, and 32 grams of protein, which is a lot of protein. It's a really great way to give your protein a boost, especially if it's been a day where it was a little bit lower. Overall, today we did great. We rounded it off with 1,957 calories, which is right where I am looking to be anywhere between 1800 and 2000 calories i'm a happy girl we hit 190 carbs which i don't really care a whole lot about carbs i like to monitor them i don't like to have an excess of them but i try to stay around or around 150 but less than 200 so we're in our target range again and most importantly protein which we rounded off the day with 150 grams of protein which is amazing and that's exactly where I like to be but we did really great today and these are just the things that I really like to eat that help me feel like the healthiest and best version of myself and that are helping me push myself towards my fitness and health goals I know this protein brownie was something a little bit different that I haven't tried but I kind of switch out my desserts a lot I really hope that you enjoyed today's video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below thank you again so much for watching and I will see you in my next video Bye.